Hello, my name is Xander Work, and for my CS312 final project this quarter, I built a Docker Compose environment using Zeek and the Elastic Stack. Um, the goal for this project is to be able to input a PCAP, um, have Zeek process the logs, and ship them into Elasticsearch so that they can be visible in Kibana. So you get the power of Zeek with the flexibility of a nice graphical interface like Kibana. Um, it's designed to be very simple to stand up, so all the user has to do is just build the containers and then start the containers. And then you'll be able to access Elasticsearch directly, or port 9200, uh, but more commonly it would just be Kibana at port 5601. I mean, these, are the, these are the default ports for that service that users are already familiar with. Um, to use it, all you have to do is put a PCAP into this PCAPs to process directory, and then the logs will appear in Kibana. Taking a look at the architecture, um, we have a few different containers that we're using. First, we have a Zeek container. This is where all the initial processing happens. Uh, when the container is built, it builds using the latest version of Zeek on GitHub. Um, it compiles it, and then we use a second container that doesn't have all the build dependencies in order to keep it a little more lightweight. Uh, we only have our runtime dependencies here. Um, we copy Zeek from our building container. Uh, we install a few more prerequisites and the Zeek package manager. Uh, we set up all the directories necessary for us to process our packets as the non-root user. Um, we switch to the Zeek user, then we install a few Zeek packages, add in our configs, and then start our container. Um, taking a look at our run script, um, the run script uses inotify to loop through and wait for new files to appear in the directory. And once a new file is found, um, we will run Zeek on the logs on the PCAP and then copy the logs to a new directory um, that has both the PCAP name and the current time in it to avoid duplication. Um, so you could run a PCAP multiple times and the logs would still be generated um, individually. Um, so we copy all those logs in uh, and then we remove our temp directories. So after a PCAP gets processed by Zeek, um, it then will be ingested by FileBeat. So FileBeat is a lightweight log shipper used as a part of the Elastic Stack. So our Docker file is very simple for this. All we're doing is just importing our Zeek modules. And in the Zeek config, we're using the built-in Zeek module, which is a part of FileBeat that knows how to parse the different Zeek configs um, and different types of logs that Zeek can generate. And then we, all we have to do is just define the different types of logs to parse, and then FileBeat will take care of all the work or, all the rest of the work for us. And then we define our Elasticsearch container. Um, we're not running Elasticsearch as a cluster, we're just running it as one container since there's not a whole lot of data being pushed in. Um, it's running only with one gigabyte of RAM. And then uh, we have our Kibana image that allows us to graphically view these logs. And the Elasticsearch data is also being stored to persistent volume, named Zeek Elk ES data. Um, that way, if you restart this a second time, Elastic won't have to redo all of its data and your Kibana config will remain persistent. Now, let's do a demo. So first we will build our containers. Mine are already running, or already built. Now we'll start our four containers. So we'll know it's ready to go once we see the Kibana listening on 05601 log message. And this is the initial run of the environment. I deleted the volume so we can go through the initial configuration process. So we see that Kibana is listening. So now we can go and pull up Kibana. So there's no data in Elasticsearch yet, and this means we haven't parsed any, P parsed any PCAPs yet. So let's go ahead and throw a PCAP in. I'm going to open up a new terminal. Let me go ahead and pull in a PCAP that we've already parsed. So 
So we see that Zeke got the PCAP, logged it, and then followed me ingested all of our logs, and I started shipping them off to Elasticsearch. Now, if we take a look back here in Kibana and refresh, we will see that we now have a new file B index. So we can go ahead and make a new index pattern to match on all the various file B indexes that can be created. And then for the time filter field name, we're going to use the at timestamp field, um, which file B will automatically parse out the seek timestamp and stick it in that field for us. So Kibana will create the index pattern for us. And then we can go back to the Explorer view and if we expand this to the whole day, we see that we have our logs. So the timestamps used here aren't when file be ingested, but rather the times in the PCAP. So I could import a PCAP from last week, and then I would have to go to last week's time view to be able to see my log entries. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of these log entries. Uh, right here, we have a log from the connection log. So this will have information about the protocols used. So we have our source address. Um, then we would have the destination address up here, um, ports, um, size of data, and so forth. Let's take a look at an HTTP log entry. So here we have something from an HTTP log, and we can also use the similar filter to filter on what PCAP it was and which iteration of parsing it was. Um, so we get very granular on what parts of data that we're analyzing. Um, so here we see that we have an HTTP request uh, to this URL. And we can see things such as user agent, parts, parts of the user agent, and even some parts of the basic authentication. And this concludes my demo of the CS312 final project. Thank you for watching.